Buddy, what improvements did you see from Ryan Fautner today compared to a week ago? Well, I thought, uh, you know, out of, outside the first inning uh, where there were two walks, I thought that, you know, his uh, strike zone efficiency was much better. It wasn't where it needs to be by any uh, means, Danielle. But, uh, you know, I, I thought there were, uh, you know, more pitches consistently in and around the strike zone and not as many uh, non-competitive pitches. I think that was something that stood out to me. I thought his fastball maybe had a little bit more life today, even though it might not have read it on the, you know, on the on the radar gun. And the changeup came into play also. Uh, struck out Harper with the change. Struck out uh, Gregorius with the changeup. Uh, came into play, and that's something that he needs to do, because in his opinion, I've only seen him twice now, that he has confidence in it and he feels it's one of his better secondary pitches. It's sort of like from his preparation today compared to a week ago, did he seem less nervous, more confident going into the start to you? Uh, I, I couldn't really tell. No, uh, he seemed the same, but that's probably a better question for him. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Paul Casella. Uh, but is that a good sign though that you said, you know, outside of the first inning, after his first start, he didn't go exactly he wanted in the first inning, a little rocky. Is it good to see him settle in like that and kind of, pick it up for those next two innings? Yeah, I think that was a, that's a good sign. Like I said, I think the, you know, I noticed even in the first start, even though the results weren't great, uh, you know, I, unless, you know, the, he looked composed, he looked poised, uh, unless he was hiding it extremely well. Uh, today, I felt he was fine. I mean, in between innings, clear thinker, uh, good conversation. Uh, you know, the pitching coach told, uh, told me today that prior to the game and their meetings, uh, about the Phillies lineup, he was fine. So uh, it, it was good to see better results. I think you know he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to look back at this one and see, you know, three and two thirds innings and eighty pitches as a as a good outing because uh, it's not. I mean, it's not. But he showed signs of uh, of improvement and something to work with. So uh, I'm 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 excited and happy about that. And then just overall, you come in here against a team that's fighting to make the playoffs and you take three or four on the road. I mean, kind of a, a good series there for a young team like you talked about this. Week. Yeah, it, it is. It's a it's a good one for, you know, obviously the team, uh, you know, this 28 man roster. But, you know, I think it's a good one for uh, Hampson, who's never who's never been to Philadelphia. Uh, Rogers is a rookie. Uh, Nunez, uh, who caught yesterday, faced Zach Wheeler. Uh, Hilliard. Uh, Daza, uh, Welker, who I thought had a nice series uh, with some good at-bats. Uh, his first major league hit, some good defensive plays late in the game uh, that helped us. Uh, Feltner uh, pitching today. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of experiences learned here in these four games that will help us going forward. Uh, it's not, uh, you know, obviously the finishing touches, but it helps the process. Ringlesby. Buddy, have you been working with Hampson on his power stroke? You know, we, we talk about it all the time, about I want him to go deep. I want him to hit 40 homers. Uh, tongue in cheek, Trace, as you know. But, you know, as we've talked about, he's got, uh, he's got sneaky pop. He really does. I mean, we've seen that. Uh, I mean, but Garrett will be the first to tell you, and I'm, I'm sure he'll uh, be in here after me at some point. But... You know, the, the, the entire offensive uh, package of, of Hampy, uh, you know, needs to, you know, continue to get better. I think he's, he's been frustrated with some of the strikeouts, the, you know, maybe not the walk rate that he would like. I think, you know, he's getting closer to, you know, what we feel is a better walk rate for him. Uh, but the, the strikeouts got to come down because he's, he needs to put the ball in play a little bit more consistently to be able to use his legs. So, but you know, for, you know, a guy with, uh, you know, that sorts of sort of stature, he's got a little, he's got some power. So, uh, I mean, obviously today he, he was a huge part of our game plus our, our bullpen, but, uh, you know, he took the game over. He really did. So it was great. And, a, you know, no two pitch against, uh, you know, an all-star type pitcher and hit it out. Uh, then another homer. 
off a you know pretty dependable, reliable reliever. Uh, that's good stuff. That shows the talent that that Garrett has. Thank you, Nate Grok. Yeah, buddy. Just to follow up on that, um, I guess the Giants at home in that last series, that there was a I forget the exact situation. There was an uh, called third strike with Hampson. Um, there might have been a guy in third and no outs at the time. I forget, but um, it seemed like he he maybe wanted that one back. Both his home runs today were 0-2, 0-2 counts. Um, does <laughs> was that something that sunk in with him, or is that is that a, a something that maybe he was reminded of? of from from uh, you know, I don't, I don't I don't think so. Probably a better question for him. I, I doubt it. Uh, but you know what, you know, what he did was put the bat on the ball with two strikes. I mean, that's, and he didn't swing and miss. I mean, they, obviously their, their plan of attack was to throw him breaking balls. And I think, you know, from the previous at bat until the, you know, the O2 breaking ball from Nola, uh, I mean, he got a ton of off-speed pitches and, and it's no secret teams are going to start have, uh, been throwing him the breaking ball away, especially right-handed pitchers or or lefties, throw him the soft changeup down the way or or a back or a uh, backdoor breaking ball on the outside part of the plate. So, the soft away pitch to Hampy right now is something that he has to improve on. Now, I didn't see the pitch from Nola, the 0-2 pitch. Uh, I assume it looked like it was down. It it might have been a little bit middle middle in. I'm not sure. It probably didn't get away from him like he like Nola wanted to. But uh, the positive is that Hampy barreled a breaking ball. So uh, that's, a, that's a good sign. And that's, uh, you know, some, something Hampy can be happy about that, uh, you know, not that he tries to swing and miss breaking balls. Nobody, nobody does. But, you know, he's capable of that. So the consistency of that happening moving forward needs to be there. I mean, the, the strikeouts have to come down. Cool. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. We'll finish up with Dwayne. Hey, uh, buddy, uh, you mentioned it previously that uh, you thought that uh, the well-traveled Ashton Godot just really needed to get a chance to get out and pitch. And today he comes up with, uh, you know, two key innings for you uh, and ends up getting a win. Yeah, I, I thought I thought he threw the ball really well. I thought the you know, the velocity was sneaky fast, right? I and mean, up to 95, but a lot of 93s. Good changeup and, and the slow and the slow breaking ball, which is a great velocity variance pitch for him. But he's throwing strikes. He's changing speeds. He's keeping hitters off balance. Uh, you know, he's been a little bit under, under the radar, but uh, you know, I'm glad he's with us because there's a number of teams who have claimed him, and he's been on their there. He's been on their 40 man roster, and uh, I mean, all you, I, I challenge you guys or uh, give you a little exercise to uh, to look at where he's been the last eight, nine months, 12 months, and how many organizations he's been with. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty incredible and you know some to you know maybe write about one day is you know maybe a uh, some sort of fun story for you but yeah look how many teams he's been with in uh, less than a year but he pitched good today proud of him it's good and i think he got his first big league win yes he did yeah that's, that's awesome i'm happy for him in that regard uh he deserves it uh, he's he's been grinding through uh you know his career every everybody's career is different but it's good to see him have some success. He's a good kid. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. We'll go to Paul Casella. Uh, Gary, a couple home runs today, a couple two-strike pitches against a good pitch like Aaron Nola and, you know, good reliever. W what's that feel like for the uh, the confidence today? Yeah, it was good. More importantly, just, you know, a, bit, a big hit for our, for our offense, I think. Uh, early, Nola was, was good. He had his stuff going, so um, – you know, good. It was good to come through right there. And then just overall, you guys come into Philadelphia against a team that's fighting to be in the playoffs, and you've heard all year about the road, the road troubles, and you, you take three or four, and you know against some good pitchers, some good players. How, how's that feel for the team? Yeah, it was awesome. You know, we kept saying how much these games mean for them, and um, you know, likewise, I, th I think these games are huge for us too. We want to play spoiler and, and play these team stuff, especially on the road. Um, you know, it means a lot. So. Um, you know, to come in here and take three out of four in Philadelphia was, was pretty awesome. Danielle Allentech. Hey, Garrett, uh, Buddy mentioned the other day that you've been, you know, working on some adjustments at the play. Um, what are some of those and how are those feeling for you now? Just trying to get some, some rhythm back um, at the plate. Um, you know, it's nothing too, 
too big or too too mechanical but um just trying to get my swing off at the, at the right pitches and, and and stick to my approach and uh, take better at bats thank you yep. nick rogue yeah hey garrett both those homers were 02 counts um uh, which is kind of which is kind of amazing. It's a difficult spot to be in, and you and you made it work. What are you? Have you noticed maybe a pitching pattern against you lately that you were keyed up on, or were you maybe especially motivated to be swinging O two? How did? Is there anything to that? Uh, I think I just you know they were attacking. I think the whole day they were attacking our hitters. Um, you know I I missed some pitches early to to get the yeah, bat over with, but um you know fouled them off, fouled up a couple first pitch fastballs. Um, you know, and then they made good pitches to, to get me to O2, but um, just able to kind of grind it out and, and, and get a good pitch to hit. Yeah, gotcha. Thank you. And we'll go to Tracy. Here, to have a game like today, this season, Ted, particularly on the road, I assume for you has been a little frustrating at times. How good does it feel to have a day like today? And, and what are the things you're working on to try to be more consistent on the road? Yeah, just trying to be consistent overall, you know, it doesn't matter on the road or at home. I don't think we try to change as much as players. Um, you know, the, 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 the splits can say one thing, of course, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to break it up or trying to hit better on the road. I'm, I'm trying to hit better at everywhere, any, any, ba any baseball park that I play in. So, um, you know, I don't, I wouldn't say I break it down to, to, to the road, but, um, like I said earlier, just trying to take, you know, more consistent, uh, quality of bats. Thanks, sir. Right. If it seemed like today after that first strikeout, everything kind of started to click for you. Is that kind of how you felt? Uh, yeah, I, I was pretty comfortable today. Um, you know, I could have gotten ahead of some more hitters, but I think uh, overall I felt pretty good. Were you um, less nervous heading into this start? Like, did this feel more normal than your debut did? Um, yeah, I wasn't really nervous on the debut either. I mean, there's obviously debut nerves, um, but I felt, you know, pretty comfortable out there for both of them. Um, I think it's just now, uh, you know, building off of some of the execution of my pitches that I had today going forward. What were some of the things that you've learned um, in the past week? Um, I've learned a ton. Um, you know, I can't even point out one thing just because there's been so many. I, I, I've talked to Gomber, Freeland, um, Markey, everybody in the rotation, and they've all been super helpful. So just trying to be a sponge out here. And, and uh, I, you know, I've learned more already than I thought I ever would. Any piece of advice from them stand out to you? Um, you know, as far as cores, just uh, where to start breaking balls and, and stuff like that, um, you know, release point type of things and just mental cues that they think when they have, um, you know, trouble with a certain pitch. And did you get the ball from your first strikeout and what do you plan to do with it? Uh, it's not in my hands yet, but, um, you know, I think, I think I'll be getting it here soon. Do you know what you're going to do with it? Um, I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. You know, I should probably give it to one of my parents because they helped me get to this point. Um, so I'll probably do something like that with it. Thank you. Uh, Ryan, do you feel more comfortable with really all your pitches today? It seemed like the strikeouts were a pretty good, pretty good mix. Yeah, Harper with the change up, threw a fastball by a couple people, a couple of breaking balls. And just, did you feel comfortable with everything today? Yeah, yeah, everything was working. Um, you know, the only issue was, you know, I'm just nibbling corners a little bit too much, missing a ball off here and there. Um, you know, early in the count isn't going to do me any good. So just being more aggressive early in counts, I think, is my my uh, biggest focus going forward, but but all my pitches felt good today. Thank you. 